Alright, so it's an early start to my day. It's 9 a.m. And I'm with my dad. And I have another workshop for cinematography with Matthew Libatique. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's an American DOP from the States because he's American, Kari Naman. And he DOP'd for films such as Black Swan, Iron Man. So I'm pretty excited. Thank you for making the time. And thank you very much for filling this house and making the world record for cinematography talks. Okay, so first half of the workshop is done, and I'm so excited to be learning from such a great DOP. I mean, if school was like this, I'd go to school every day. But no, joke lang, go to school for in, okay? It's bad not to go to school. Right now we're on the way to the second location because the first half of the workshop was free and then the second day is what my dad paid for and my skin is peeling for some reason. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, lunchtime, I'm staying here at the second location and I'm about to have lunch. Nothing that we can prove Imprisoning glory When I'm gone in the morning Everything I said I wouldn't do That look cool Okay, let's go Oh, gosh Sound to ya Hi Alright, so I'm home. I, I fell asleep in the car. And for some reason, my face is peeling. I don't know why. I guess, siguro it's from the island exposure or whatever. I don't know. But it's peeling. But if you see me and my face is peeling and it looks disgusting, I'm sorry. I'm really disgusting as a person. Joke lang. <laughs> Single pa rin ako all the time. I hope that doesn't ruin my chances of getting a girlfriend. Cute guys, so I have my own little ID. Matthew Libatique. Oh my god. I'll talk to you guys about him in a second. First off, Matthew Libatique is a Filipino-American DOP, director of photography, if you guys didn't know. He is a frequent collaborator of Darren Aronofsky, director of uh, The Fountain, uh, Noah, and he was the DOP for Requiem of a Dream, Iron Man 1 and 2, Straight Outta Compton, and of course, Black Swan, which was nominated for Best Cinematography at the Oscars. Yeah. Wow. Beyond all of the technical knowledge that I brought home, my creativity was jump-started. I mean, today I tweeted that you guys should stay tuned for something, an idea that I have. I just don't know how to execute it. And if everything goes to plan, you guys will see it when this is released. But yeah, my creativity was jump-started, guys. It was as if I got cleared in the movies. One, two, three, clear, boom. Okay, that... <laughs> I just kept jotting down notes during his lectures and I missed that. I missed wanting to tell a story. Anyways, I am more than excited to learn more from Sir Matty tomorrow, so why don't we get to that real quick? All right, nothing but a little Starbucks to start my basic morning. Basic drink for a basic boy. What time is it? It's 9 o'clock. The second day of the workshop. Ugh. My coffee. 8 2. Uh, what, do we, what do we have here? We have a Leica City Lens brochure. And voila! Gal Gadot on the cover of the ASC. That's Matthew Libatique. That's him fixing the light right now. That dude. 
And how's that job? So it's four job. Good. And Nico off. So we left the workshop early because we have to pick up my sister at Eastwood. And I'm tired, so I'm gonna pass out. Alright. Alright. We left Green Sun Hotel at 5.30 and it's 8.30 right now. So 6.30, 7.30, 8.30. That's three hours in a car and counting because we still have to pick my sister up. We still haven't picked her up. Hi. Pilipinas. Napaka traffic mo talaga. Hi. Yes! Yes! Uh, four hours on the road. It's like I went to freaking Tagaytay or something. I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. I'm gonna go home. I'm tired. Alright, it's the third day of workshop. I passed out last night. That's why you're seeing this clip. Starbucks again. It's the last day. And my dad's gone. I'm the only one here. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Don't even got a backup cut them off when we start riding. All right, so I had to leave early because I'm picking up my sister at Eastwood. And I'll make quantity to you guys about the workshop later. I'm in a rush and I don't think I can properly tell you guys my thoughts about the workshop in a car, in a moving car, so yeah. So, the workshop. Meeting one of my heroes and an actual DOP whose movies I've watched and absolutely adore was real. I mean, sure, the workshop was super technical and I didn't understand a fourth of it. But just watching him work and light the frame and shoot, it was amazing and I learned so much personally. To think that this guy created the look for one of, actually, the, for the first, the first MCU movie ever, Iron Man. Wow, and I actually met him, I actually got to talk to him. Thank you, RSVP Studios, for bringing Sir Matty here to the Philippines. Thank you so much. Whole week has been filled with filmmaking, and I'm so grateful. And I have so many questions, but for another vlog, man, I don't want this vlog to be too long. Now, some quick explanations. First up, why is this vlog postponed? I tweeted that, and the main reason why is because it's Burns' birthday on Monday, the 17th. So, because of that, I wanted that specific vlog release to just be about him. And not to have like this other day of the last day of my workshop, since I usually post two days in one vlog, if, if you noticed. But yeah, I, I just wanted that vlog to just be about him. So yeah, happy birthday, Burns. Eh, you should greet him down below. Do my Instagram. <laughs> I have to plug. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should. If you follow me on Instagram, I usually post in threes. Like one whole grid or row or whatever you call it. And because I've been so inspired to tell stories, I was like, you know what? Why don't I use Instagram as a medium to tell stories since it has a picture and then it has a short description or whatever. This week, I posted 
a grid of black and white photos of my mom. And these photos all tell one story from the captions that I put. The first one was, Hi, Mom. The second one was, People say I look like you. And the third one was, So please don't leave me too soon. It forms one cohesive, short, very short narrative or sentence. I thought I thought it'd be cool. No, I'm saying. I'm just trying it out. Pero if you you want to check that out on my Instagram, link down below. <laughs> Guys, storytelling can happen anywhere from anywhere. And if you enjoy me talking to the camera about my insights, if you want more of these, just comment down below and then I'll be sure to adjust whatever I can. But anyways, follow me on my Instagram and tell stories, guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you all real soon.